This ESPN production is available on ABC HD, presented by Dish Network. Let's go down to the field and Lisa Salters. I was talking to Bob Stoops before the game, Brent, and I was asking him what it's like to play here, and he said it's definitely loud and crazy, especially when these fans start their organized cheers, but he said it is no more intimidating than any other Big 12 stadium that we is not playing tonight, but he says he remembers very well playing here when he was a freshman. He said when these fans start swaying back and forth for that cheer, it makes the entire stadium feel like it's moving. He said as a player, it's very unsettling to be down here on the field. Right? Lisa underway. Oklahoma wins. Says he's ready to go. Second down and five. Patrick, another first down, slashing across close to midfield. They show a power eye. Patrick had already had four carries. Here comes Gutierrez looking for daylight. Smashes across that first down line, close to the 40-yard line. Oklahoma going on fourth and three from the Aggie 34. Got it. And into the hands of his best receiver, Malcolm Kelly, the sophomore. Long the receivers over to the left and they'll run behind that side with Patrick another first down and close to the goal line they're going to spot that at the one yard line where it'll be first and goal in playing great defense it's a great way to start if they can put it in the end zone Patrick behind the fullback the call dive for the touchdown Oklahoma goes 80 yards the opening series of the game and strikes first Garrett Hartley, who is second and ten. Here he comes in motion. He's got blazing speed. There's the option. Look, they want to get him outside the perimeter. 35, 40, gone! And hold down by the corner, Lindy Holmes. The, uh, the coach telling us that the left-footed kicker and the right-footed kicker, they each want a different holder. This is Brandon who put it down perfectly. And the Aggies are on the board. Here's Patrick again. They're starting to gash him with the running game, Bob. They're, uh... Patrick again, breaking to daylight. Three, second down and five. Thompson throwing, juggle, but it's complete. Holding on now was Iglesias. Joaquin Iglesias from Colleen... Quarterback draw. Thompson, goal line. Touchdown. The second Oklahoma touchdown here in the first quarter. This game. Second down and 13. Here comes number two. And his first completed pass of the night. And he puts the ball in the hands of Martellus. Stoops. He didn't like the behavior of the youngster. Now McGee keeping it. He's into the red zone and out of bounds. We go back to something, Bob Davey, that you said. The onside kick is a good call only. <laughs> Here it comes again. Touchdown. The J train, Javorski Lane, is 18th touchdown of the season. And the tradition continues. Those guys were getting their money's worth right there now. <laughs> Don't they realize that was an onside kick and two 15-yard penalties? That wasn't that exciting of a touchdown right there. But doesn't matter. When <laughs> you're They'll in take the it, court, baby. They'll take it. Doesn't matter. <laughs> You've been here, Coach. And what a list he joins when you think about the great running backs through the years. Here he comes again, number 23, bashing for 13 yards. And then down and three. Equal to the challenge again. It is Warren, number 10, stopping Patrick that time. <laughs> Tried a little trickeration, but uh, the Sooners took Schrader. They read him all the way. There is Nick Harris, 41 yards, but only 33 passing. And Oklahoma, a couple hundred yards and 26 passing. Now let's check in with Lisa. Thanks. Anyhow, 
and try to open it up a little bit because Oklahoma can throw the ball down the field on these corners and, from AM. Yeah, and for AM with Stephen McGee, it's about getting back to their comfort zone, which is versatility and balance. And they were a team that in the first half this year, he entertained us for about 20, 30 minutes yesterday. It was a delight. Picked off, intercepted by number 24, Marcus Walker. Walker of the Sooners out of bounds on the six yard line. And that ends the string of pass. Tight end is standing up. He'll come in motion again behind the quarterback and sit down. Thompson looking over the middle, diving incomplete. It's fourth down. Aggie defense stands up tall again. They will go. The Aggies and their fans breathe a sigh of relief. Garrett, I want to tell you right now that if you get an opportunity and you're in College Station, Go over to that presidential library right now, along with the former president. They're honoring the. They have done that. Now, first down and 10 for the Sooners, and here is Patrick. Came right back after that costly fumble. Breaks a tackle, sprints now. There is a penalty flag, spins into open field, heading for the end zone. There is a penalty flag. What a great run, but the flag way back. Was that Reggie Bush on that spin move there? That was an unbelievable 78-yard <laughs> run by Alan Patrick, but it is coming back. Holding on the offense, number four. Ten-yard penalty from the spot, still first down. Malcolm Kelly, the wide receiver, guilty of holding. We're going to see the hold right here, but really focus on the effort <laughs> of Alan Patrick. This is an unbelievable effort by a guy who was recruited as a safety at Oklahoma. And then he just keeps going. I mean, you think, okay, somebody's going to bring him down. He just keeps fighting and showing speed. He has so many instincts that you just cannot coach. And here's the DB with the spin move. And now. Play fake, Thompson, deep drop. Sack, ball down, on the ground. Umpire quickly jumps in. Aggie football. A turnover. In honor of the 12th man here. And Bob, when you were an assistant coach, the entire kickoff team was composed of a walk-off. Exactly. Jackie Sherrill started that tradition where all 10 players, other than the kickers, were walk-on players. Goodson trying to break free. And again, slowed up. The backup quarterback. They tack it on. Coach Davey, you thought it was four down territory. You don't agree with that. You think they should have tried to power in. I would have run the ball on third down, go for it on fourth down. After you throw it on. They struggled today. Louisville with that impressive win on Thursday against West Virginia. Here's Goodson bolting. Tripped up at the 25-yard line. They do just that. 3.30 left on the clock. Here's Patrick. Breaks out free. Close to the first down. Brilliant run by... Third and one coming up. Patrick battles for it. Inches did not make it. Fourth down. Did not make the first down. It is fourth and inches. And Stoops, but even even Bob Stoops, I can't imagine going for it because, Brent, you said it. If you don't make it, you've got a field goal kicker for Texas A&M and Lane Newman, who's made a 52-yarder. I'll say this, though. If he's not going for it, he's done a tremendous job selling those kids a play. He's the tailback. Straight ahead with a quarterback for a... First down. The push push. Timeout Oklahoma before the ball was snapped. Oh, before goodness. the ball before was snapped. Before the ball was snapped. Station. Whatever it was, they're doing it again. The Sooners coming up with fourth and inches. Same play. Breaks free on the left side for a first down. And it almost looks like it's a too many men on the field. Or Defense. That can't happen. 12 men on the field. Oh, no. 15 yards. It's enough for a first down. That's an incredible mistake. Of all the time that transpired there.
They keep their winning streak alive. They have now won four games in a row. That guy's a ball coach right there, sure Bob Stoops. There's yep. no doubt about it. And he is still in the running for a BCS game with this as he's over uh, with Coach Fran. 17-16. Oklahoma wins it again in our Chevrolet. Players of this game, Alan Patrick, 173.